Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of War Tale Season 2. What we're going to do this episode is we are going to accept the offer to purchase the Ruined Tavern in Marheim and see where that takes us. So this is just another extension of the Tavern DLC. I'm very excited. I will come back to finish exploring Luden or actually conquering Luden once I have seen what that has to offer. So let us get started. I'm just going to I have to rest, but I'll just be quickly fast travel once I've dumped everything here in this chest. Now we can sell that. We can. We don't need that. Don't need that. Put that here. The empty vial I'll keep. Just it serves as a reminder of what I need to potentially refill or craft. Oops. Give me. Oh, we have so much alcohol. We probably don't need it. Okay, we'll leave that there. We don't need that. Uh, willpower, nope. That's a trinket, we can sell that. Ooh, alchemist creme brulee. We have seven of them, didn't realize that. Okay, so we just need to cook a little bit to get us to allow us to fast travel to Marheim, and we'll see what that has to offer. Now, the only one I have left is Hawkeye. That I hope he will turn a new leaf and say, I want to be a villain. I don't long, no longer want to be a hero. And join our gang of super villains. Well, not really. I'm going to make him work in the hideout. Okay. So we have enough space. So that's fine. Let's do a quick travel to mine. So, what do you. I made sure to furnish it with air. Are you ready to travel? Yes, I am. Go to Marheim. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got to pay though as well. Good thing I have enough crowns. And two. Now I haven't ever really withdrawn from the tavern. So I should start taking advantage of that at some point. I just keep spending all of it. Black Panther. It's now a dream man. Awesome. So many things. Okay, so Derelict Tavern. Luke is back, so let's talk to Luke. Just look what I found for you, mercenaries. Right in the center of Marheim, a stone's throw from the market and artisans' workshops, this tavern has the best view of the well in the whole town. Everyone will envy you, I can promise you that. There's no reason to hesitate. That old dump of yours in Stromcap will never get you the fortune and prestige you deserve. Think bigger. Think Marheim. Okay, so this is no longer one crown, it's 300 crowns. We will buy it. What wonderful ambition! With that attitude, I bet you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Yes, cleaning is my expertise. Uh, we need to destroy that, so let's do that. So, same thing from the first tavern. Just gonna clean up the derelict site. And the site will be yours. Okay, we've got some wood from this one this time. And a wall torch, great. Dark stain. Damage table. Debris. Oh, we have learned the North Country Ratatouille specialty in your companion. Great. Cobweb, cobweb, cobweb. And that's it. Okay, so what happens here? It looks like it's. Let's, have, let's close this. Oh wow, look. It looks so much cooler. It's a bit brighter. The other one was really dark. So it looks like uh, we can't select the other old tavern, can we? Let's have a look. If I go out, if I go to camp. Okay, yep. So basically, they've moved your tavern, or the, D the tavern DLC basically, when you hit a certain prestige amount, I think it was 300? And 300 or 400. I'll need to check that. You basically get an offer to move your tavern to a bigger site because this is so much bigger than the one we had in Tiltran, which is amazing. Now the problem is they've packed up everything for you <laughs> automatically, so you just need to relay out everything. It looks like okay, look, look, look. Yep, I've got my improved tables, got a banquet table. I now can also have a games table. It reduces security by three, but it does attract factions such as merchants and sailors. 
It allows a tyrant to welcome two patrons per shift. Okay. Sale odds by 15% for all patrons in the area. Very nice. The next improved item will be the improved banquet table. Okay, so I've got all these. Wait, didn't I have a larder? I thought I had a larder. Okay, that's right. I've got a lot of copper coins. Okay, good, good. Now improved wall torch will be at 500. Ooh, list of bounties. Allows the troop to access two extra co contracts. Okay, I did not see that. This is new. Can we access them from here, I wonder? We'll try. It will attract merchants as well. Wow, exciting. This is really exciting. Anything new here? No, just the cat and the couch. Upgrade tavern barrel will be available at 450 prestige. No difference here to the decoration, customization. Okay, let's get started. I feel like I'm going to spend the whole episode just on the tavern. Let's place our banquet tables first. Oh, that's a cool area too. Now, what fits better in there? Private dining area? Can we? Okay, we can turn that around. Um, I feel like maybe this is a private dining area because what we can do then is we can put... Where is the cat? We can put the cat here. Look, and he covers the whole area. We can increase the sale, right? Because the cat increased comfort by 5, but also increased the sale loss by 15% for all areas, for all patrons in the area. The legendary cat. I didn't even notice that. There you go. Okay. So. Um, okay. Good, good, good. I wonder if we can rename the cat. No. Can't call him anything. I was thinking about it the other day. Um, okay. So let's move this table. Banquet table here. I think let's turn it around. I'm going to put two candlesticks. One here. Is that the entrance? I can't turn around. I think that's the entrance. So I think having two banquet tables here will be pretty cool. Just like that. And we'll move that one. Uh, no, I like things to be quite... <laughs> you find out quite symmetrical. Okay, we put three three apart. So the reason why I put three apart is I can then add the loot, which is three tiles, three by three, and then add Mr. Bard, Black Panther. Sale odds, he increases sale odds by 22%, and also comfort, and also increases the specialties, increases the effect of, on sale odds in the area by 25% as well. I wonder if it's the same. I think so. He increases sale odds by twenty-two percent, and the specialty is to increase the effect on sale odds in the area by twenty-five percent. So twenty-five percent of twenty-two is about four point five percent. So really, the sale odds is increased by twenty-six point five percent. So if I were to put a bar close to even the cat, would increase the sale odds increment of fifteen percent by an extra twenty-five percent which would be 3.75%, which would make it 18.75%. Not too bad. We'll keep that in mind. Um, okay, so... No, I don't want to touch on him. Okay, so he cannot cover all of it, unfortunately. Is he covering all of it? I can't see. I'll go this way. No, I can't click on him. Yeah, somehow he, he can access all four on this side, but not that side. Interesting. This circle is not based on the center of the stool. It's based on this right side of his leg. Oh well. What can you do? We have the menu board. We can put the menu board here. I think that would be good. Put the cat a bit further behind. Yep. We should get a larder. Why don't we have a larder? I thought we had a larder. Let's get a larder. Should I get a larder yet? Wait, let me just finish placing everything. A couch, just increase sale odds of all feasts. So we just need to have feasts. Um, let's put... You guys, there's so many bouncers. Then my security is still not good enough. Minimum required is 75. Okay, let's put the couch here. You, the couch is for you guys to... It's a waiting couch. Or even here, actually. It looks pretty good. No, I'll put it here. 
It's for people waiting to join. To come dine at the hideout. Um, let's not put the tables yet. I wanna buy I wanna buy this. But let's finish the wall torches. Two, three, four, five, six. I've got so many. Uh, can I put up here? Make it really high up. To brighten up the area. Oh, we can't go there. Oh, no. You're ruining my vibe. Okay. My OCD. Oh, no. My OCD. Oh, well. Uh, we have painting. Put one there. I would like to put another painting, to be honest. We'll see. we got to worry about security. Are there any other walls? Oh, we can put up here. Oh, wait. Okay, there, there, there. Let's see, let's see. Um, so we can actually put it here. Oh, cool. Okay, so we got so much more space. You know how I was complaining for the tavern in Tiltron, that location? It's not enough space. So we could put one each, maybe, like that. Or would you prefer two? Let's go with two. They're not that expensive. 20, 25 copper coins. Let's get about one, one two, three, four. Um, we'll get five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 is 245. We'll give that a go. We'll just do it. That's how you set up your restaurant. One here. Uh, yeah, I want it to light up that. I don't like that it's down here. I prefer it higher up. Let's see. It feels like Hogwarts. With the candles floating in the air. I wish they didn't just appear in the same spot. That's really bright. Ooh, look at that. I wonder who's gonna ever gonna light the torches. They're so high up. Okay, security is 90. Okay, just with that we're done. We don't need to worry about security. We don't need the bouncers as much. Oh, okay. oh wait, hold on. This bouncer, that's right. He's a smooth talker. He increases sale odds. Let's put him here. Okay. Um, yeah, comfort, comfort. Okay, you're all bouncers. Just stand here. Line you up. Can you face the other way? Oh yeah, you can. Cool. There you go. And you will greet the customers. <laughs> oh no, wait, wait, wait. We can do a guard of honor. Um, here. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. That's what. Uh, you're a bouncer too. There you go. So we've got plenty of space. Let's put down these tavern tables. One, we can upgrade them. Um, yep, we'll do one there. Security keeps going down, we have to be careful. Wait, does that count? Because security goes down by 56 clientele. I can have up to 56. Oh, hold on. But it's 46. Where I get the extra 10? And that's 56. Hmm. I'll worry about that later. Um, hmm. Where should I put him? No, don't block that entrance. Maybe we we'll do it this way. Yeah. Um, right in the middle? Here? Yeah, here maybe. People can kind of walk that way. Or maybe we'll get closer. There's a bit of a walking path here. We can get another bard, to be honest. We've still 610 copper coins, but we want to get this. So let's get that. We will attract merchants. Because merchants, I believe, are upscale. Let's get that. I one. Where? How does it look like? Oh, how big? Oh, four by three. Hmm. How do I increase the radius? What is the best way to capture as many tables as possible? Okay, we can get the the, the bar here. Maybe if we do it this way, like that. What do you guys think? Let me know. This way. Okay, yeah, it captures quite a few. It doesn't capture this table. We'll squish them in for now. 
And what I'd like to do is upgrade these. So 400 each. If I upgrade them, the upgraded table is increase comfort by three. That's the only difference. And comfort increases sale odds. Okay. So if I so currently the comfort is well effects is 13 patrons plus 13 and sale odds is plus 17. So if I were to control upgrade, does that change? Yeah, it becomes 90. So sale odds is now 18%. I do this. Still 18%, not much. This one. 19%. Patrons 14. 19%. Okay, well almost 100. Okay, that's good. We are almost broke. That's fine. Anything else we can buy? I was wondering, should I get another... Hmm. I'm wondering if we get another candlestick. Or, we can't get another menu board. You can only have one. You can have... Crap, did I not get the larder? Oh, I didn't have enough copper coins. Crap. Oh well. Security is 87. Tolerate is 80 now. Um, we could get another loot and then get, hire another bard. Oh, Hulk is here. Hulk would be... Um, he could be our next... Oh wait, we've got another cook. Cooking spot available. We can have three cooks. Let's get... Apprentice and... Journeyman. We'll get Engrick for now. But what do I want Hulk to be? Should I get him to be another bard? Let's get him to be another bard for now. Bard? Does it matter if we level him up? Ooh. Wait, he's different. Hmm? I captured him. Oh, he's a different kind of class? Hmm. He doesn't have much options. Does it matter? Do I choose that? I don't have a choice. Relentless and Extreme Resilience. I, I don't think I'll ever use Hulk. But I wonder if that has any difference on the staffing. Um, hmm. He increases prestige by 5%. What if I make you the Tavern Keeper? You increase prestige by 5%, but you also attract upscale patrons. So let's make you that. Um... Yeah, let's do that. Let's make it be upscale, but I want... I want another bard. I feel like I need another bard. Let's just do it. Copper coins. And we'll get loot. Loot can be somewhere... Here, I suppose. Here? Or here? Um... Or maybe, maybe, if we do this, we can fit the loot in. Oops. Yeah, let's do that. We can fit the loot in there. Oh, come on, I can't, I can't click. Yep, so we only waste three little squares. Now we just need Mr. Santar. Reassign him as... I can't reassign them actually, can I? No, in that case, you will still be the Tavern Keeper. We'll get Hulk to actually be a bard. He's a singing Hulk. <laughs> That's gonna be funny. Okay, he increases this effect on sale odds in the area. So he will help increase the sale odds on the game table. I feel I need to give you something to wear. I know it doesn't affect you, but um, it looks doesn't fit the upscale environment. Oh well, we'll start there, seller. I'm gonna have, buy another barrel. Do we have other things? We have wine. That's fine. Okay, we're all done there. Let's go to the menu. Has anything changed? We have already received the reward for the courtiers. We need scholars. Let's focus on scholars and merchants. Let's see what reward they'll give us. We're having a hundred scholars or a hundred merchants. So let's find dishes that allow us to focus on that. This one focuses on scholars. This is nothing. This is, I have no idea what, the legion. Is legion upscale? Legion? Question mark. Hmm. 
question mark in my, in my head too. Maybe not. Let's see. What else there is available? This one, courtiers. We don't need courtiers anymore. Courtiers. Okay, let's get rid of these. Let's find something that will attract the clientele we want. Trappers for undue. Actually, are trappers? Tracking good. Working class. So, no. Um, hmm. Attends to... Uh, candied fruit. The legion. Maybe. But there's shortage. Porridge. Pork stew. Um, maybe in these fact, this area in Marheim, who you track is the legion. Um, we've got the creme brulee. Merchants is cheesy macaron. And okay, so in that case, maybe we will we will go with. We will have to focus on um, the Legion. Let's see what they give us. Maybe it's by location. Maybe I shouldn't have swapped so quickly. From Tiltron. Okay, let's let's. These are the feasts. Can I? Which one should I? Creature comfort. So what do we need? We need this. Ah, it doesn't tell me. Pork stew, porridge, edarin, wine. We don't have edarin wine. Or is that what we buy? So we just need pork stew and... Oh no, we need edarin wine on the menu, which means we need it somewhere here. And we don't have it. Okay. What other specialties can... They all need wine. This is... No, never this. Don't worry. Pill delights. No. No. Ratatouille. Okay, now those are specialties. So we need to focus on these ones. Mushroom sardine then. It's a good profit margin. It costs 12 to produce, but you get 32 copper coins for them, which is a 12 copper coin profit. Per dish. Your journeyman as well. Okay, you have more options. Can we go to the specialties first? You can only sell one of each. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep focusing on alchemist creme brulee. And we can't do any of those. Um, yep, we'll go with pork stew. No discount. We will get porridge. Okay, let's do that. Okay, menu is done. We can assign one more scullion. Can we hire one more scullion? Yes, we, we did say we'd hire the journeyman and Greek. Engwick and Engig. You must be brothers, brother and sister or sisters. Pastry chef. Chance to produce delicious desserts. Which can be sold at a higher price. Wait, hold on. Um, is this a dessert? Wait, what's a dessert? I know. Do they tell you here? Maybe they do. Let me check. Um, they tell you this is a dessert. Right? It has to be. You know what? I'm gonna go check it out. Uh, exit. Oops, no, I didn't have to do that. Camp? No, I didn't have to do that. I don't know what I'm doing. Here, compendium. Basic recipes. Advanced recipes. These? No, no, these are specialties. Which one's a dessert? I mean, these are not desserts, I guess. Would I eat porridge as dessert? Biscuits? Mm. Oh no, wait, it does say it. B dessert rare. Biscuits are rare. Dessert. Uh, cooked meal. So at the bottom of this description, it says dessert rare. Cooked meal. Oh, dessert. Porridge is dessert. Oh. Seed biscuit is dessert. Candy fruit is dessert. Okay. So does that mean it tells me... I just wasn't looking. Apple pancake. We're definitely not serving apple pancake because that's for bandits and peasants. Feast legendary. Uh, creme brulee is specialty. Okay, so that those are not desserts. Let's go back. Menu. Um, porridge. Okay, that's a dessert. Oh, it does say here at the bottom. I wasn't looking. And pork stew. This is a specialty. This is a cooked meal. Can you cook 
Can you make something else that is not pork stew? Then that is a dessert that still serves the faction. Not this one. Mutton stew, nope. Trappers one do nope. Candy fruit? Yes. There's a shortage, but I'm gonna do this. So it reduces my profits by five. So it costs 28 to produce. I only get five copper coins. But based on his specialty bonus, whatever you want to call it, can be sold at a higher price, 25% more. Alright, so if we can sell candy fruit at 25% more, what is that? That's about 8.25 copper coins more. So our profit goes from 5 to 13.5. I don't know how they do with 0.5s here, but let's say it's 13. That's not too bad. So let's assign the other scullion and Greek. Here we go. Wonderful. No specialties. That's fine. So let's cook that pork stew instead. Given Ngik. Couldn't do it. Let's do that. And what else would serve our clientele that we want? Maybe we can do creature comforts. But we don't have Edorin wine. How do I get Edorin wine? Must be the barrel. We'll see. We can't do any of these. So anything that's grayed out means we're still missing that. What is that? I'm missing your infused wolf ribs. This one. So if I select this, I could cook this specialty. But I attract the wrong faction. In that case, no. I'm just going to cook single, it's just they only take single slots but don't attract specific clientele. Let's find one that has a discount, no discount. Which one gives me the highest profit margin? They're all the same. This one's the lowest, so in that case we just go with Perch Broth and Fry Bream. Done. Okay, cool. So do we want to do anything here? Or do we just want to head back? I reckon we just head back. But before that. Oh, wait. Uh, there's something I didn't do. Well, I didn't have enough copper coins for it, I think. I wanted to buy. Didn't I want to buy. Not the couch. This. I want to buy lists of bounties. Okay, I need 150. I need that much. And I need. To buy the larder. Okay, two, so 300, 300. I need 300 crop coins. But let's buy some food here for our troops. The actual point of war tales, which is Strange. to tell tales of your war. It doesn't stink quite as much now. We'll get all that. Still got some crowns. I would offer one need all this to keep producing but the disease alcohol. Uh, okay, I think we're done. Just gonna quickly repair. Whoops, wrong one. My mistake. I just know this year we'll go. Just because Garusa Clan doesn't actually have a blacksmith. Not sure if you noticed that, but in season one I, f I found that out. So, Garusa Clan doesn't have a blacksmith uh, here, but Kebble Clan does. If ever you want to repair stuff, you have to actually go from here to here. And the travel post is only available in the Carissa clan, so if you forget your materials, you've got to keep moving back and forth. Not the most effective or efficient place. But I guess it does mean you need to do some bit of planning. Now what I'm gonna do, since I'm my fatigue meter is almost full, I like to go there and steal because I'm at 485. Let's go. I wanna steal more books. Um can I steal? Is there anything worth stealing? Might I you, my humble wares, my Alchemical. Actually, I won't steal. I'll just. Hold on. Why don't I do this? Hold on, hold on. I know where you guys are, so don't run too far. Let me just quickly. Oops. Uh, sorry, they dropped in the water. I'm gonna. Do you have some too? Might I interest you in my Ooh. Humble... Yes, I would like to get those. I'm gonna quickly go and steal and hopefully go back because I can attack them and it, while it increases my meter I can attack them even though I'm above level 5 wanted level but I can't steal I just from places like this if I'm like above level 5 today? 
a specific skill, a weapon up. So let's see. Okay. Yep, that's all we could do. That's fine. Not fast. Quick, quick, quick. Let's go back. I need to steal from them. Where are they? Oh, that's them. They're not too far. They're a bit slow. <gasps> a super rich one. Oops, cards are here. Um, I don't want to go with super rich. I want them. I need the alchemical residue. Wait, maybe you have it. Stand back, uh, no. No, you don't have what I want. Unfortunately. Or fortunately for you. Not for these guys. Oh, come on. Too slow. Can I ambush you from here? Come on. Ugh. Nope, no ambush. Might I interest you in my humble Attack! Way? Yep. So attacking... It increases your wanted level, see, full, but at the end, you can just take all the rewards for yourself without increasing your wanted level because your wanted level is already maxed, or your suspicion meter is already maxed out. Okay, so we have... Okay, we need to get these guys. Okay, so a few here. I don't need that many of you up there. He won't run away. Like, he doesn't have dodge, so it doesn't take as much to kill or engage him. These guys you engage... But in order to damage them, you need to use one skill or basic attack just to get rid of the dodge. And then another one just to kill them or engage them. And even if you've got them engaged, let's say through taunt, they will still run away because they have a skill that's, uh, that blinds, disengages. Right, so they can still run. Mm, so we just need one here. And one here probably. And yeah, we'll leave Harley to kind of get that one. And then here, oh, this, this is difficult. Um, do we, oh, we don't have any spots down here. We've got one spot down here. It's okay, Enchantress can do something there. Okay, let's go in. Let's see how we go. Get rid of this one first. Okay. Ah, oh, he didn't die. My bad. So we've got a high killer and ravager. Can we ignore them? Up here. And oh uh, that's annoying. It's okay. I'll try and we'll go for this one first. Please die. No. In that case, we just use rock. Then I come to the horse. And just taunt you. The horses can't disengage. Can't throw bombs. Can they? Yeah, no, they can't throw bombs. And they can't disengage either. Oh, they're ponies, not horses. My bad. Okay, crewmate, 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 crewmate. Okay, so we'll get Galactus. I hope you can kill him. No, I don't think we can. Yeah. No way, not gonna work. But he will die now. Okay, crewmate, ravager, high killer. Okay, and then it's the merchants running away. Uh, Venom can't get there. Black Adam can. Yeah, let's try to kill him first. No, we can't. It's not gonna work. Yeah, not strong enough. Oh wait, he killed twice. Oh, because he has counter-attack on the shield and counter-attack. I forgot. So he will definitely kill. Okay, we can ignore this guy. But what I want to do is get Enchantress. Line up Enchantress to hit both. Will be awesome. Perfect. The dodge is now gone. So if you see this one, for example, there's the status is just fugitive. Go to this one, they have dodge. Fully dodges the next attack. Right. So if I then I can now kill him. Now just get him to stay here. Get the free valor point. Your counter attack. Perfect. Hit me again. Nope. I wanna get another of that those shields. Emma, we'll come in. We'll finish you off. Okay. Great, great. So can't move much further. Okay, now I need to really worry about the merchants. They're gonna run away. So I can do I can use the sorties. 
actually. Hmm. You're gonna run this way, that's fine. So we'll get Thanos first. We'll kick. Get rid of the dodge. Dodge is fine. And then we can kill. Okay. Um. I don't think. So I think if we. Do taunt, it doesn't quite work. It gets rid of the dodge, I believe. No, it doesn't. And he won't attack us, see, he'll blind us. He disengages for free. Oh, he went that way. That's annoying. Okay, the pony. If we can... Do you still have dodge on? You do. So the dodge keeps refreshing every single time. So it does get quite annoying. Let's go here. We can just slice you. You won't run. So that's fine. So the more merchants you can kill off, the more goodies you have at the end to select from, to steal from. Or to steal. Um, yep, yeah, we'll do this. We will kick you. And we should be able to then kill you. And I might do the same here with repression. Just to get rid of the dodge, yep. Yeah. That way when Loki comes in, we can kill both. We don't need backstabs anymore, but let's just do it for fun. One, two, frenzy. No, we don't let them go because we want their goodies. We don't need to waste it, so let's go here. Um, yep, we'll do that. And we'll cast frenzy. Okay. There's only two left. One is this guy, and one is Pony. So let's go get rid of this guy first. And then we get rid of Pony. Perfect. Cool, so I can hit it, take all this for free. Because um, this, it's not going to increase my wanted level. All right, so if I choose, for example, the Python, it plus 30, but I'm already maxed out. So I'm just going to grab everything. Do, 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 do. Definitely pays to be criminal. And it's fun. Did I get a lot of crowns? I can't remember. So now it adds, it's supposed to add 215 suspicion, I guess, to your meter. But I'm already maxed out. So it doesn't matter. Uh, let's cut some wood. Since we're here, then we'll head back to Marham. Then we can rest and we can see what happens to our tavern, the hideout, our expanded tavern. And hopefully we can buy the notice board, I think is what it's called. As well as, what's the other one called? I can't remember now. What did we not buy? There was something we wanted to buy. Um, I forget. But there's definitely something we need to buy. Oh, let's get there before we fatigue out just in time. Nope. If there are guards here, I'm doomed. Yeah, I could. We're good, we're good. So let's just quickly repair. I just know this year will be a blue. We, we will Your armor is as good sell you stuff to make up for that repair. There you go. And this one, this one, this one, trinkets. Any more? Nothing. Okay. So now we're just going to rest. Um, please launder. Ooh, there's so much to launder. Keep laundering, thank you. I need that for rhyme steel. Alchemical residue. Was it that? No, alizarin powder is what I need. Rhyme steel. And take that too. Ooh, carp's done. Acidic oil is done. And aim is done. Let's get. Let's learn this. I don't think you've learned aim, Enchantress. Yes, you don't have aim, so I'm gonna give you aim. Aim basically increases their precision as well as doubles the range of attack, which is very useful. Okay, so let's rest. Please do not run away, Hawkeye. I want you to join my tavern. Critical damage. Nope, nope. 
Nope. I guess is there any point resting here? We should just travel back to... Yeah, we should. I don't know what I'm doing. We should just travel back to Ludin. To, to Garusa Clan. Where are you off to this time? We're going back to Garusa Clan. Eat some cool pork. Eat some venison skewers. And some cured meat. And let's go. Now, it doesn't re recover my Valor points. But the shift... So it still runs, your tavern. But um, you don't get a shift report, I think. Let me check. It doesn't, there's no prompt. So this is the shift report. That should have come out. Um, I think. Engik, or maybe not. Engik Saucier, maybe not. Theonic. Engik and Theonic. Engik. Oh no, it did. So time did pass, they did complete a shift, we did get more prestige, I think we were at 400, now it's 437, we did get more copper coins. The problem is there's no prompt to say, hey, you've got a new shift completed. So you just have to go in and just open your tavern and check out your shift. So I will actually do that. I should practice what I preach. Profit have, have got going up from the last shift, sorry, mumbling there. My mouth's a bit dry. So still making good profits. 211 patrons, 33 out of 48. Prestige, 32. Satisfaction, why are they not happy? Security. Reasonable prices. So I could probably drop the price to make them happier. Not going to. Yeah, so we sold 23 out of 40 that we can actually cook. Um, it'd be nice to see per unit to see what's the most profitable per unit. Now, Engik, I believe, can sell for 25% more, right? Yeah, so for 2, we sold for 35 porridge. Because we sold 2, and the price is per, for the total of the 2 is 70, so for each porridge is 35. Let's check, let's check the menu. 35, yeah, so it has gone up. So you see at the top, it's actually only 32. But we charge them 35 because of his specialty, which is pastry chef. Can be sold at a higher price, increased by 25%. There's a chance too. Um, and then saucier, chance to produce delicious combined dishes. Ooh, interesting. And who was the other one that got? Let's Theo something. Theonic. Gratu gratu gratuity. Five copper coins. Nice. I get five copper coins each time. Okay, what did I want to buy? Let's not forget that. I wanted to buy the larder. And... Oh, list of bounties. Yes. Larder and list of bounties. 150. Oh, man. I can't buy the larder. You know what? This one comes first. I'm really curious. Because this attracts the merchants as well. And increases security by 10. I'm currently not m meeting the minimum of 80. Let's get that. Okay, where can I put this? Oh, nice. So, question, can I access this? What? <laughs> I can't, that's not fair. Okay, I thought I could just get an easy way to access the bounties, I guess not. Okay, security is 87, great. I have nothing else to do here. I don't have a lot of copper coins. Upscale, 80%. We're getting class 20%. Okay. Um, oh, we're up to fourth from the bottom. Eventually, I'm going to send people to do this. Eventually. Not yet. Um, okay, let's go to the tavern. The This thing that we have up here, I guess the bounty, list of bounties, it says it allows the troop to access two extra contracts. So we should have a lot of options now. Might she be looking for what? Yep. Is it? Oh, normally it's about five, so now I have seven to access from. Or oh, to accept. Seven to accept. Oh, well, we'll just accept this then. Yeah. Okay. Hmm, I wonder if I should go to Yebel Clan and get more. Um, the only reason I would hire anyone. Because our. 
League is full, is only to work in our tavern. Might get a ranger and get them to be a master thief so that I can assign them to, to the tavern and steal stuff for me. My grandfather was a soldier in the Edoranian Legion. Okay, cool. He fell in love with my grandmother during the war. Oh wait, I do want to sing. My grandfather was I hope I've gotten better. We'll see. Oh sorry. I chose the easy one. By accident. This one is like super easy compared to the other one. Okay, some sapphires, model boat, that's extra crowns. Okay, so just going to quickly do some housekeeping, because now I have more. I stole some alizarin powder. Rhyme steel, rhyme steel, um, that's fine. I'm not worried about the helmet for now. Okay, I need to give you a rhyme steel sword. Because the difference is large, this is 19, this is 11 strength. So, sorry, I was saying the 19 is the strength. That's what I'm referring to, the strength attribute. And Galactus has 11, plus 11 strength attribute for his sword. That's the Ghost Gladius, one level down. Magneto has it, that's fine. Yep, you have it as well. There's legendary, so we can always upgrade that. You're not level 8 yet. Ultron is 8. He is fully equipped. Okay. So really, if I can get one for Galactus. Maybe... I'm not so sure about the shield. 16-24. Um, ooh, okay, it's a big difference. You know what? Yeah, I'll get you the Rhyme Steel Shield. And Ghost Gladius. Let's see if I have enough. What do I need for that? Rhyme steel shield for rhyme steel, and what do I need for the swords? Um, not this one. This one. Four, eight. I need eight. How many can I make? <gasps> oh wait, I just I'm not learning what I just said. I don't have a blacksmith here, but that's fine. Let's see how many we can make. Um. How much? What do we need for rhyme steel? Lazarin powder and gray cluster. Obviously, I don't have a good memory. I don't know the recipes by heart. Gray cluster. I think they're in birch roots as well. Yeah. Gray cluster. And we don't. Okay, we have four rhyme steel. Great. Gray cluster. Okay, so we have that. What else do we need? Oh wait, do we do have this? No, that's reserved for someone else. Because I made the wrong one. Okay, Alizarin powder. We stole some. Okay, so that means it's in our camp chest. We haven't laundered it, we just use it. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's go to the apothecary and let us craft some. Rhyme steel, eight. That is great. Okay, good, good. Okay, we have enough. Now I just check what I need and I'll bring it across. Iron ore, coal, and cloth. Iron ore, coal, and cloth. Is this the same? Iron ore, coal. Okay, and wood. Iron ore, coal, cloth, wood. Iron ore, cloth, wood, coal. You have coal. I'm pretty sure you have coal, yes. Do I have enough cloth? No. Let's just bring more cloth just in case. I don't want to go around twice. We do need to get more coal. Um, do we need more food? I don't sell crops um, behind me. It tastes like swamp water. Can't go wrong. We just do it. 
You're not from One, two, three, four, five. And I'm overweight. So, let's store some stuff. Food wise, we just put these here for now. I'm just gonna make a trip there and back, I think. Yeah, I'm. Hmm. Maybe not, actually. I will go to Yebo. I will get the shield and sword made. And I feel like I'm just going to go all the way like this and come back down. Kind of makes sense. Hit the rat first. In that case, I don't want to carry all the extra weight, extra luggage. So we can get coal there. So let's put it back. Don't need this. I'm just going to double check how much I need again. So 7 coal plus 12 coal, uh, 12 iron ore. Six wood. Six wood, two cloth, and eight. Okay. I'll need two cloth. So six. Uh, I need six wood, so I don't need so many. Sixty-one. Put sixty-one back here. Iron ore. Did I say twelve? What happens when you don't write things down? Seven. And yep, 12. 6 wood, 2 cloth, definitely. 6 wood. 6 wood, 2 cloth, and 6, 12. 12 of this, so we don't. We can put 29 in there. Okay, and we're fine. Now we're gonna. We've got 28 years of food, that's too much. So let's just cook as much as we can here, and we'll bring the rest. We'll keep the rest here. What delicious food do I have here? Or fatigue management. Sorry, everyone. Okay, I still have the perch, cabbage perch, which I'll take from Bertrus Marheim. I will take these delicious ones because I need them, or the feast. Don't need that. And definitely the apple pancake. Let's make more apple pancakes because I'll be journeying quite a bit. So much food. Universe truce. Just bring all of them across. I can set up my own supermarket. The first supermarket. Maybe that will be the next DLC. Farming and creating your own supermarket in War Tales. Another simulation. And then eventually War Tales will be not about it won't be War Tales. It'll be business tales. Corporation tales. Capitalism. Oops, I don't need that. Okay, so let's make a few things. Just in preparation for traveling. Uh, where's my cabbage perch? Definitely. So I have three. Let's make five. We have two now. I want the apple pancakes. I have two. I need three. I don't have a lot of apples left. That's a shame. Okay, and the rest can just stay. I'm not going to make the rest. Keep it simple. Raised chicken. We'll make uh, 28 for the journey. Okay. And I think that should be fine. So we'll keep the rest here. Rest of the food. We don't need this. So we'll keep some salt just in case. Maybe four. Uh, no, the other way around. 98. Keep them here. Keep the wheat here. Uh, we'll keep the resin. They're always back up. We don't need that. We don't need the grey cluster anymore. Cloth we'll need. We'll need to eventually make more torches as well. We'll keep these with us. We don't. We'll keep only the cider. Don't need all these now. We'll keep the biscuit. Uh, no, wait. Anything to do with fruits? I need to keep, uh, no, carrot meat stays, because that's used in the brewing vat. Uh, that's actually food. Okay, we are ready. We are lightweight, I think. A lighter weight. 404. 
Okay, before we end this episode, let's just go to the Gable Clan and finish crafting. Let's grab that, since we're here. And this. Can't help myself. And mushrooms. Oh, so many things to grab. Oh, who are you guys? No, I don't want to catch you. Ooh, I'm good. Until Hawkeye converts to villainism, if I can call it that, I'm not going to catch anyone else. They just run too f They all keep escaping. Oops. Uh, how can I get down? I just want a way down. Okay, yep. Let's go here. It's always nice to have shortcuts in case the guards come and look for you. Oh, it's a standoff? Oh, wow. They just moved. I didn't know I could go up that. Yebel clan. Here you go. So you, this is the only place that you can do forging. Well, not the only place, but they're not all concentrated in the same town, unfortunately. Them? Yeah, let's assassinate that. It's hard, but we'll see. Um, Living in the swamp isn't always easy. Sure, we'll sing. We'll do the harder one this time. Make sure you remember. Oh no, I thought it was going to be perfect. Close. Okay, nice. I like this much better. Okay, cool. So we've done that. Mm, we came here for our original thing here. I will buy the coal. I will sell you gems, antiquities. Yep. And I will now go make the stuff for Galactus. Shield and sword. Sword. One, two. Three, four. Can't wait to get to Pirates of Belirin as well. There'll be so much more I need to do. Um, no, not this. Shield. Rhyme Steel Heater Shield. One, two, three, four. Okay. Here we go. Um, Galactus. One, two. Perfect. Now, I'm going to keep this just in case. I don't think anyone will die, but you never know. The only thing I want to do was armor layer. Can I? I forgot to get the materials. The reason for that is Galactus has one more slot available. Okay, what do we get here? Good deeds? Deals, I mean. Sorry. I don't do good deeds. I'm a criminal. And blacksmith. Wonderful, so I think that's it. That's a good place to stop. Uh, in the next episode, obviously we'll continue our journey in Ludren and try to open it up. But also, obviously what see what else the tavern has to offer. I need to remember to buy the larder. Definitely need to remember that. And hopefully we'll keep expanding, get better, um, hopefully get more heroes converted into villains so I can assign them to this tavern. And yeah. And then we can get them to do some stealing as well. So thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great day ahead. And until then, take care. Have fun. Bye.